Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. Well, the wind is blowing this afternoon, the temperatures are in the lower 80s, and the pollen is flowing all over the place. Uh, pollen is accumulating on surfaces across our area. Things are turning that yellow-green in color, including our lungs. But with the pollen, that also means it's galaxy season. And there's a lot of different galaxies to look about at this time of the year, uh, going into March, April, and May. We call that galaxy season. And uh, there are so many different galaxies out there to pick from. But right now, I'm picking on a trio of galaxies those are in the constellation Leo, the trio in Leo. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. Welcome to my channel. I'm Pat Prokop, and I'm out here in the Heavenly Backyard Garden. I just did a garden video. It looks like I'm going to be doing another one later on this week as what looks like a possible freeze coming our way for Saturday and Sunday mornings across our area. And I'll be showing some techniques on how to protect your plants in the event we do get that frost and freezing temperature over this weekend. But right now I want to talk about the triplet in Leo, the, the three galaxies that are shining high in the constellation Leo the Lion uh, that rises around 9, 10 o'clock at night now, but uh, it, it's best viewed between midnight and 4 a.m. Uh, at this time of the year. Each night the constellations will be rising about four minutes earlier, so uh, we'll be able to see them a little bit uh, earlier uh, in the evening hours. I've been shooting this target now for several nights. I've gotten four good nights of, of uh, uh, astrophotography with this target. And one of the nights I used the Optolong L Enhanced Filter. That filters out a lot of the uh, uh, yellows and the green lights. It allows only the red and the blue lights to move uh, into the sensor of the camera. Uh, and then I mix that with uh, one night with a uh, UV IR cut filter, and then two other nights with no filters whatsoever. Since the moon was new and the sky was clear, uh, I, I figured I can get away with no filters. And, and sure enough, it worked out pretty good. So let's take a look at these uh, images and see how I put them together in uh, PixInsight and Photoshop. All right, let's take a look at where some of these galaxies are located. First of all, the sky map here. Let's turn on some of the information. And there you can see the constellation lines, and uh, here's Ursa Major, the big bear, and you can put on even some more. Uh, this is Stellarium, and I'm looking at Galaxy NGC 2841, or it's sometimes known as the Tiger's Eye Galaxy. So let's turn off some of these features here and go right into it, and let's zoom in, and we go into it, and there you have the galaxy itself. Interesting galaxy. Again, about 46 million light years away. Uh, it's um, a, a tightly wound galaxy at that. So there, there's the one I'm recording right now. Um, trying to get uh, six to eight hours of additional total, actually a total um, imagery on, on this galaxy right here. But the one I'm really concerned about is the, um, actually the trio uh, uh, in Leo. So uh, the Leo triplet or the triplet in Leo. There's all kinds of nicknames for this one. And there it is over here in Leo. Again, let's turn on the uh, information here. And it's, it's on the back side of Leo. Yeah, there's Regulus right there. And uh, so let's zoom in on this one here. And there you can see the galaxy there. That's M65. There's M66. And this is NGC 38, 3628 right here, um, uh, the Hamburger Galaxy there. So let's take a look at that one. And that's it right there, okay. Zooming in, uh, there you can see it. Doesn't show up very well in Stellarium, but uh, that's the Hamburger Galaxy. I Actually, my images look a lot better than this, so we're going to take a look at that in a moment. But uh, there's the trio of galaxies in Leo. Here we are in Nina, and this is the Galaxy uh, NGC 2841. Is that what it is? 2841. Yes, it is. And uh, the framing I did for that, the way I set it up is I took the frame from the other night. And to do that, I set the uh, image source here to File. And then from File, I go into Load Image. And then to Load Image, I go to a file that I want. And uh, right here is where it was uh, the other night. 
take one of the images from that that I know is good and then uh, load that in there it's loading right now and from there I can get my coordinates and says uh, an image has to be solved for framing uh, should the reference coordinates be taken yes that's the one we uh, he had yesterday so I'll take that and assuming that and it's going to go into that uh, framing right there and that's the framing I'm going to be using and I already sent that over into uh, to the target sequence and then um, going into the imagery there we can see the actual image right there and that's the galaxy this galaxy is about hmm, what is it 46 million light years away um, it, it's a distant galaxy it's up there in the um, uh, in the Big Bear, the Big, the Big Dipper, and uh, the guiding is going pretty well, uh, as you can see. Um, I got uh, less than a, a minute of arc off, so that's good. Uh, looking at uh, PhD two, uh, there you can see my guiding is going fairly well. Uh, I'm, I'm pleased with that. If you look at the uh, pixels, um, you can see it's, it, it's pretty good. Uh, so I'm, I'm pleased with that and um, let's go back to our seconds there um, I'm, I'm guiding every two seconds I'm making a correction every two seconds all right so that's what I'm recording at the moment this galaxy about 46 million light years away and you can actually see uh, some of the uh, spiral arms tightly wound up in this galaxy here that's what I have over in um, the sequencer I have two systems set up. I got the uh, NGC 2841 going and then the Leo triplet or the triplet in Leo will be coming up when this is finished. I, I, I wanted to get two more hours on this. I've been adding some more time on that. And also, this will give me about eight hours on this galaxy. And I want to get six more hours or more on the uh, Leo triplet. See, the Leo triplet right now, uh, it's just coming into my field of view. Uh, there's that big holly tree in the backyard. Anyway, the um, I, I would like to wait for it to get a little bit higher than 30 degrees. It's about 30, what is it now, uh, 37 degrees above the horizon. Uh, I, I prefer to get it at least above 45 degrees. And then from there, I'll record it throughout the night. Look, look at this. I, I have all night. It'll be in my field of view. So I should be able to get at, yeah the six more hours on this. Uh, to add to the uh, about 16 hours I already have on that. So that should give me over 20 hours of imagery on the um, that nebula, that nebula, <laughs> that trio of galaxies. There's three galaxies: M65, 66, and NGC 3628. So, once again, these are five-minute subs, 300 seconds, and uh, there's the uh, Hamburger ga Galaxy right there: NGC 3628, M65, uh, and M66 right over here. And let's zoom in on this. See how the tracking is doing, and it looks very good. Um, look how round those stars are all over the uh, picture there and the tracking has been only 0.67 root mean square um, with that in arc seconds so that's you know less than one arc um, second so I'm very very happy with the tracking so far uh, it's still looking very very good so one of the things that I noticed that if I set the scope up and then do a three-point polar alignment uh, through Nina uh, with the a scope centered um, with the um, uh, with the scope centered on the target uh, and then you just uh, over here um, go into start from current position you turn that on and then it'll it'll polar align it with the scope in that particular uh, location of the sky um, you know it's different from polar aligning on Polaris uh, or if you're in the southern hemisphere, the, your south, south celestial um, pole. But uh, by centering it on the target itself doing the polar alignment, I found it does a better job in tracking. So as long as you stay in that particular area of the sky, the tracking is usually very good if you do a three-point polar alignment on the target before starting your uh, uh, session. So that's what I've been doing, and it's been coming out pretty well, uh, actually very well. But if we go on the other, there's a galaxy, I think, right there. Um, there's M66. Now, there's a galaxy right there, way out there. And any more? Look how round those stars are. There's a galaxy way out there. 
There's a galaxy way out there. There's another galaxy way out there. I mean, it, the universe is just filled with galaxies, and we can see them from our own backyard. Um, unbelievable, if you ask me. When you're considering, you know, a small galaxy is 100 billion stars. Uh, these are probably in the ballpark of uh, 250 billion to 500 billion stars per galaxy here. So uh, it, it, a lot of a lot of stars out there. You got to think. You, know, you just got to think. Could there be life out there? We'll never know. Uh, the, 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 the travel time is just too long for radio waves and, of course, you know, travel itself is just impossible to go that distance. I mean, 35 million light years just for that light right there to get to our eyes. So, um, you know, it, it's just amazing to comprehend or try to comprehend is what's going on in these other galaxies out there. You know, our galaxy is not all that unique, I don't think. These other galaxies, they're out there. They have to support some form of life, so... Uh, again, we'll never know, and they'll never know. It's just, that's one of the laws of nature, I guess. Unspoken law. There's another triplet in Leo. Uh, you know, you always, you hear about the triplet in Leo, uh, M65, M66, and NGC 3628, or the Hamburger Galaxy, I prefer. Uh, but there's another one, uh, and it's associated with m 105 I believe yes m105 so let's take a look at that let's go into search and um, and that's in Leo 2 and, and there you have let's uh, you know, looking at Leo uh, turning on the features here remember uh, the the trio in Leo the triplet uh, is over in this area here near the tail of Leo now over here in the in the belly <laughs> of Leo uh, is another cluster of galaxies, believe it or not. So let's to zoom in on this. And um, I've actually photographed this in the past, and I want to do a better job this year uh, in getting the second triplet of galaxies in Leo. And, and there you have M60, um, M105, M66 and 65 are over here. This is M105, and this one here is NGC 3384 right here uh, and and this one over here uh, is a very interesting galaxy NGC uh, 3389 now, I, now I photographed this back in um, 2020 and I'm going to try to do a better job uh, this year with it so you know here's a picture of it right here that you can see that I, I photographed back then so yeah I used the uh, the Celestron zoomed in really tight at f10 unusual target uh, for uh, galaxies, uh, the second trio in Leo. Uh, this is it right here. All right, let's take a look at some of these images. This is from last night. Uh, the clouds did move, move in, so I only ended up getting 45 minutes worth of total data. Uh, I used five minute frames. I had nine of them that were usable. And there you can see the uh, hamburger galaxy there and M uh, 65 here and M66 over here. Let's take a look at a couple of nights previous to that when I used the Optolong L Enhance filter. Uh, this was a two hour and 40 minute night. I had 16 by 10 minute uh, images. And there you can see uh, a little bit different uh, you know, color with the filters being used. The uh, Optolong filter uh, enhances the red and the blue lights. Uh, so you get more of those coming out. There you can see uh, over here in the um, M66, you can see quite a bit of nice structure there. And look at the reds in there. And then there's uh, M65 over here, uh, this uh, spiral galaxy here. Uh, it looks like it's quite uh, tightly wound up. And of course, uh, the hamburger galaxy. So let's go to a, a post-processed uh, picture. Uh, these are all about 35 million light years away. And I, I was trying to bring out this tidal trail here. And it actually goes way out to here. Um, but uh, there you have it here. And again, the um, details in M66 is, 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 is nice. It's coming out. You can see a lot of the uh, structure in that galaxy there. And you can see some good structure in M65. And of course, the... Um, Hamburger Galaxy, uh, quite a bit of activity in that. There is the uh, the title tail of that galaxy. Um, now I, I enhanced it a little bit more, and 
bringing out more of the uh, background colors, which brings up more noise in the picture. But there you can see uh, M66 and M65 fairly well organized. You can also see more noise showing up as well. Uh, farther uh, away over here, uh, farther away in the picture, but same distance, about 35 million light years away. Uh, still bringing out that portion of the title tail. And uh, uh, yeah, I think I might need to use the 11 inch telescope to really get this out. I mean, it, it was, I really pushed it. You can see uh, how I was pushing it. it. It goes way out. You, you can see trails of it, trails of the tail going all the way out to here. Um, but uh, there you have it. Well, if you like my channel, please subscribe uh, below or leave a comment if you'd like to leave a comment about the uh, channel itself and about the subject tonight. And I want to also talk about this uh, other trio in Leo. It's a duel and a ghost, uh, two other galaxies with a third galaxy. So it looks like that might be a good challenge to get pictures of that trio in Leo besides the big trio in Leo or the triplet in Leo. The duel in Leo and the ghost. And remember, the heavens are filled with majestic wonders, all in a sky near you. So remember to always look up, look up to the stars. Clear skies, everyone. Thank you.